nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon. Go GPS. Plus 40 seconds, we've heard call out. Max Q. Guidance engineer calls out Max Q, the period of maximum dynamic pressure, or Q, on the vehicle. From this point forward, although we go faster and faster, the thinner atmosphere will put less loads on the airframe of the rocket. Coming up next is chillin' of the upper stage engine. We've got a good trajectory. And back in until it started. We've begun the chilling of the upper stage engine. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've confirmed ignition of the second stage engine after a good stage one, stage two set. You could see briefly the Falcon 9 first stage in the background. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Call out that both vehicles are following the planned trajectory. First stage continuing to coast to Apogee, where it'll then slowly turn around and descend back to the drone ship for landing in the Atlantic Ocean. The second stage engine beginning the long burn to get it into the parking orbit. Acquisition of signal, Maryland. Coming up, fairing. Stage one, if you burn it started. Stage one, landing burn is starting. Landing legs have deployed. And stage one is landed. Recovery operators move into procedure 11.100 on ECF-9. Payload separation confirmed. And successful confirmation of the spacecraft continuing on to perform its mission. From here, the satellite will undergo some activation checks and perform burns.